Today we've made it guys to the final in the Marketonic boxes. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, the series starts over here, I'll link it. This is a way to use basic kind of pentatonic techniques and expound out past it with new boxes that I created and gave my own name because my ego's this big. Okay, so, so far we've put to use a box that starts a whole step behind the pentatonic scale. Then we took our pentatonic, started on the second note, went up a whole step from there, and we have one box left, which is a whole step from there. So if you're in a basic pentatonic minor, you would go up to the next note of your minor pentatonic scale. From there, you would go up a whole step, and then one more whole step. And this one starts off just like the same pentatonic minor pattern, so it's pretty easy. You've got the first note, and then a step and a half, and you've got whole steps. And then the next part is the only time in this entire box series where you probably want to shift your hand out of that anchor point and you just play these two whole steps here. And with this one, your root note is going to appear on the A string and then the octave of it on the G string here. Before we talk about it more, let's play it in some kind of context so you can see how it sounds with background music. So again with this one, you hear some pieces that are more standard classic rock, they're not too exotic sounding, up in here, bending up to the root note there. These notes are the same as what's in the regular pentatonic minor and don't take you out of that, so it's pretty easy to play this variant of the box. And now again, as with all of these have been, it's portable, and so if you're in a different pentatonic minor, say E for instance, and you're playing the normal E pentatonic minor and you want to know how to get to this modified box, it's the same distance as it was when we were in the other key. So you've got the second note, a whole step, and a whole step. It would put you way up here in B. We'll play it an octave lower. Same visual pattern. So again, it's completely portable. And that's the fourth and final Marketonic box. Eventually you wanna take all these, once you're comfortable with them, and put them together and move around through the scales. So if we're playing an A minor, use the basic minor, slide out to the other box, move up to the next one, and the next one, and that's the last one. You can start to piece it together a couple strings at a time or picture each one of the boxes if you've gotten very comfortable like that. And now you're moving all up and down the neck and not just using the five notes restricted to the pentatonic scale. So I hope you found this series very helpful. Again, you're gonna to wanna to start from the beginning to really understand it, but it's a way without getting deep into music theory and just using pattern recognition and those two notes per string and the boxes that work great under your hands to really break out of playing in one position and start to use much more of the neck. If you have any good examples of this of your own, share them below. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.